Next up, there's a system that is preventing people to jump in your base. And there's a switch here that turns the whole thing on or off. That goes to this pressure pad that is sticked just outside this door. So I can trigger it from here. That opens two doors. And basically the splitter does. Which will allow you to peek outside and shoot. And someone cannot jump in, as Jim will demonstrate. They cannot come in. And if they down you... Well... <laughs> I didn't go down. <laughs> oh, <I can't> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> huh? Let's try again. So that means... <laughs> try, again. try again. If I go outside and shoot, Jim cannot jump in. <laughs> But, if he downs me... <laughs> yes, he can still loot me, but even if he shoots me and tries to jump in, there's no way he can jump in. Nope. So, it uh, prevents them from going deep on your base. Um, it's a little bit clumsy sometimes, but maybe you can improve it. It's just something I wanted to show. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. So guess what? Today, we're going to be talking about electricity. Big surprise, I know. So, big update, 17 electrical components have been added to the game, so quite a few things to wrap your head around if you want to go that way. I do want to start off with saying it is not necessary to learn this at all. You're pretty good off just taking all the th uh, electrical things you find and scrap them for high qual, which means more guns or better base protection, which is both a really good cause. You can currently only control lights and doors, so it's like a game of how, com how complicated do you want to open your door and at what moment which is cool for like trap bases and maybe it's like some single door things, uh, single one way doors. Um, but I don't think you're really missing out if you're not going to uh, learn this in the current state. There are going to be a lot more things, um, presumably, to control and uh, end goals to do with the electricity. So you, you might want to start up with the basics um, or ignore it for now and wait for something to control that you actually want. What is in the game at the moment and what you can use and I build up some uh, practical uses and th Nice. Nice underwear. Good hat too, good hat too. Yeah, um, fifth year anniversary. Congratulations everybody. I think this calls for it. So, congratulations. So you're first going to take your power, you're going to store it somewhere, then you're going to make conditions or a circuit and then you can trigger that manually with a switch or a timer or whatever or trigger it automatically when you or someone steps on a pressure pad or runs through a um, laser detector. And currently you can only control lights or doors. So let's dive into all these buildings and see what kind of uses, um, I think practical uses you can do with this. If you don't want to watch everything, as always, there are timestamps in the video description where you can click on and you can watch only a certain topic. Let's dive right in. A very simple trap with a manual switch and if you turn it on the first time people jump um, that will nothing will happen so if you got some smart asses trying to jump past and do it again um, if he's not that smart uh, yeah you get shrekt so this is very easily just a generator giving power I know generators are not in the game see it as a battery once again um, going into a branch that branch powers this timer and also powers the switch. When the switch is triggered, it activates the timer and it will let power through the splitter and the splitter opens up the doors. So basically there is a 10 second time where the doors are opened, triggered by that outside switch. And after the 10 seconds, it will turn off the splitter again, closing the doors. So this one uh, is basically the same idea as the last one, but then using a laser detector. So when you are the owner of the base, you can just run in and go inside your base without doing anything. Um, manually open it, and then if you run past the turret, uh, sorry, if you run past the laser, it will close the door automatically for you. And this is kind of an easy system. Also, when you are being followed, that uh, turret will protect you. You might want to place it all the way in the corner here, if you have the laser on that side. If you're too far away, the laser will not work. And it works kind of halfway this uh, triangle, it still works. One thing I did find, if you go really far away, 
or really far away at least out of range and then you can just walk up to the laser and it will not trigger even when you go away it doesn't trigger you really need to run into the line of sight close enough for it to work so next up is a anti-door camp system or maybe trap system uh whatever you want to call it um first shown off by snowball fred uh, if i'm correct and this is a power output to a timer then the timer is set to 10 seconds that timer is hooked up to the splitter the splitter is hooked up to the branch and also hooked up to the doors and also the branch is hooked up to the doors and those doors are those garage doors which means that if you are going outside and you're not sure if people are outside or you know sure people are outside you can activate this that will open up your doors for or garage doors for 10 seconds showing these turrets giving you enough time to close your door run away be protected by the turrets and automatically after 10 seconds those close so here i got my curiosity trap um but i electrified it so if you're not familiar with the trap i showed a video testing it and also made a video um how to build it on my channel it's originally without electricity but i thought i see what i could do here please ignore this great wire um i couldn't get it to work otherwise trust me so basically i can turn this on and that will set my trap ready to be uh opened so this way this is uh, closed i can take out this door because this is the manual door um that i didn't electrify so to still have a manual um piece of control so now i can switch this top one that will close these two doors and that will open up all the garage doors so one two three the front door uh, four actually sorry one two three four and now i can of course this was closed wait for someone to trigger the trap and when that's happened i can switch this that will open up these doors again so if there's someone locked here he's now locked in this floor will be gone and my loot and everything will be secure again and then i can repair my door uh, repair my floor and switch this up again and now the trap is open again these doors are closed so people can go through this door and i can just keep on going switching and locking people so that's trap bases um that's kind of what you can do with it open a door at the right moment with oh no i got one more so this is a little bit different take on trap base um you just have some loot here and i yeah, probably saw that coming but the doors close when you stamp on the hidden pressure pad under this rug and it doesn't reopen the door anymore then i can talk to you here's the control room and if i like you i can let you back out but if i don't like you yeah you don't really have much choice of course these clo doors will be closed then yeah you die wait what yeah you die <laughs> i just realized this <laughs> okay yeah but you get it you'll, you'll die anyway even without that retarded thing so if you're familiar with my channel you might have seen my uh, hidden loot room mechanic this is the 3.0 version where i have a sleeping bag under a foundation with a twig wall that you can break to have initially only boxes but as you can see if you wanted to you could hide your batteries and stuff like that because basically when they break your batteries uh, you cannot have any power anymore so you might want to hide it as good as possible so indie foundation might be a good idea and i also showed you in that video a different version where you have a lot higher foundations these are all foundations it's not walls um and then you can even hide your tool cupboard in there but also some big batteries and you could break this spawn in here break that that the, will break the floor and you could wire through foundations so i got a wire running from here through the foundation to the floor making it look weird and then back through the wall again and maybe you can figure out a better way so this is what it looks like from the top you just see a little wire going and you have no clue where it's going so you could hide your electricity and your tool cupboard of course in your foundation once again if you're not familiar with this and how to build it 
I show you this in the Hidden Loot Room Mechanic video 2.0, 3.0. Um, this is also something. There are two sleeping bags, as you can see, and there's a pressure pad under it. It's a little bit annoying to play something like this. It's not as easy as it looks, but it is possible, and it does still work. So we got a uh, battery hooked up to a counter, and the counter clearly counts up, and then when it hits a certain number, it will allow uh, electricity through but you can also use it to show pass through and it will show how much how much energy is flowing through it um so if i hook it up it's basically the battery gives 10 it takes one from the counter so it's nine then you got the root combiner uh, it says blocker but it's the root combiner the red one and if i hook those two outputs it basically turns it into one stronger one so 10 and 10 is 20 but it takes one from here so it's 90 19 sorry and i tried some things to see if I can improve the power. So you can see here I got four solar panels hooked up, two to this uh, root combiner, two to this one, but you cannot combine from a root combiner. So you cannot turn these two inputs into one even stronger input. Um, I also tried to do the same thing here with a end switch. So two batteries to this one, two batteries to this one, through the end switch, but I still only get 19, the same as with two batteries. So you cannot stack them up to more than two at the moment. If I have two solar panels hooked up to one combiner, it does turn it into a stronger uh, signal, but you cannot then pass through it or even combine it again. You cannot root combine from a root combiner. The three things that I don't really have a practical use for um, at the moment, but I will get one. So this is the end switch. If you turn on one, it will go green if you turn on two it will have both the power and then it will let power through turning on the light this is the or switch and you can have either one of them turning on and that will turn on the light and also if you have both on it will not care because it will just go on through and this is the x or and you can have either one powering it but where there's a twist if you have both of them on it will also not work those three I didn't really have a practical use for except turning on a beautiful light. So let's continue. So next up I got a blocker and a root combiner. The blocker gets power from the generator um, and it gives power out to these lights and these lights are all hooked up together. But there is a twist, it has a block pass through. So as soon as this gets electricity it will not uh, give any electricity anymore. So I hooked that up to a root combiner and those root combiner, that root combiner is hooked up to these two solar panels. So if the sun is out, this will get electricity, uh, give both those feeds into the root combiner. So give that through to the blocker. So basically means when the sun is out, it will not turn the lights on. And if I make it day, uh, sorry, if I make it night, Those uh, solar panels will not get any electricity anymore, so the black uh, block pass-through uh, is turned off, and that way it will turn on the lights. And then when it gets day again, the lights turn off. So that kind of concludes our video, or not kind of, that concludes our video. Um, if you find anything unclear, if you want me to go more in depth or show like the full build or of the electrical trap or how to wire up things, I kind of show that in my video um, and I will definitely make more upcoming electricity videos. So if you have any requests or things that are unclear, please leave me a comment below. Like it if you liked it. Um, thank you for watching. I'm out as always. Peace. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Click on the left thumbnail for my most recent upload or click on the right for a video that suits you best. As always, have a very nice day. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>